jump scare is not funny. But no one got hurt, right? No. So they just made a whole bunch of hoop. Hoo yeah. And uh, it was nothing. They got a whole bunch of uh, shit and it was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we thought it was hilarious. One of the funniest things in the world, Aqua Teen, that's exactly what they do. Perfect, perfect person on it. They did not flip in the bird, so. Yeah, I know. They had like those characters, like they come up perfectly for that. Like the badasses, like they completely create chaos wherever they go. So the fact that like people saw them and like freaked out, you know, made me feel like they had like a little ray gun on me, you know, bloop bloop coming after me. Yeah, like Who would expect that? Arcane that's something one of the characters would do in the show. Yeah, exactly. that's something that one of the characters. Would do. Like we're going to create the bomb threat here. <laughs> we're gonna make entire Boston freak out. Like you know, some cool. super stuff like that. Well, we have two questions. Okay? If, if the marketing scheme was funny, I don't watch the TV show. So on the one hand, there's that. So I, I guess I have two questions. One is if they've been in place for two weeks, which I heard that they've been actually posting here in Boston for two weeks, yeah. and no one's recognized it, it kind of makes you wonder how effective the campaign was that no one saw, saw them for two weeks beforehand. But then the other question is, was it an effective campaign if at 8 o'clock they found the first one in Sullivan Square, and by 4.30 was when the, the mayor's press conference was, that nobody had realized there was a cartoon character. So it kind of makes you realize, kind of wonder, A, are we that out of touch with what's happening on Comedy Central or uh, whatever it is, Cartoon Network, my apologies. Um, do I think it was blown out of proportion? Completely. I don't know if it makes us more vigilant or more paranoid than the rest of the country if we're blowing up and calling terrorist threats and everything else. And, not the front page of the Boston Herald this morning saying it was a hoax, it was kind of misapplied because it wasn't a hoax, it was a marketing campaign, good or bad. You can quite a question their, their thoughts about putting an electric device underneath 93 that has its own things, but I don't know, I think the whole thing was blown way out of proportion. I'm kind of afraid that those guys are going to get arrested, which they already have been, and charged. I mean, an example of to cover up the embarrassment that the administration has been having about not handling it very well. The police were great during the day. But I think as the day went on, it got to be more and more ridiculous. Even though the people that were actually in the front lines did a great job, I think the administration kind of fell apart and overreacted and wanted to make a statement, and who knows. Mm -hmm.